and here's your first boot camp session so we have just one big long round and just repeat everything through for one minute each exercise once you run through the circuit once that's it but the exercises we are going to start to increase that intensity now things are going to get harder so um, grab your resistance band and you also need that floor divider we've used before your towel your lie on the floor or some kind of object for you to jump or step over um, make sure they're at the side until you need them so just one big long round and then make sure you stretch out at the end and that's your first boot camp all right just little jogs on the spot to get started week four What new challenges are we going to throw in today? There's a few old favourites and a few new things. Let's see what comes, hey? Squat it down and just take the arms nice and big circles and keep them straight. Circle them round. So just circle them forward, nice and big. And then take it the other way. Good work. Alternate kicking and just push the hands forward and back at the same time. So squeeze those elbows back. How many of you are struggling with using both hands and feet like this right now? <laughs> and take it from the top, jog it. Good work, and again, deep squats down, just big roll of the arms forward. So week four, how are we finding it, team? How are you feeling with things? I mean, each week, as you get fitter and stronger, we then progress the exercises. Roll the arms the other way. So you should always be working at that level that's outside your comfort zone. If we did the same things throughout the whole program, you'd find it so easy by the end. So we do want to challenge you. Push and kick. But hopefully you are feeling that difference in your fitness. Get ready. We're going to kick off in just a moment. Let's go guys, everything's got a different amount of time. One round, we're gonna start with your reverse star jumps for 30 seconds. So hands and feet together, and you're gonna jump it out the other way. So you can take a little run up in between if you need to. Here's your lower version if you need to, just take it like a lower version star jump. We've started on a hard one, haven't we? So hands and feet together and you jump it up. So it's a reverse star jump. So only 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Grab your resistance band. Bicep curls, another 30 seconds. Let's go. So again, as we get into these boot camp sessions, short bursts, quick successions between exercises. No time to mess about in between, guys. Shoulders back, curl it round, belly in. Three, two, one, good. Elbow to knee on your hands behind your head, turn it. So we've done this one before, twist it round to the knee and back. 
You see I'm just not giving you any breaks today guys, we just go straight in. And remember, if the pace is too quick, pause it. That's it, change sides. Hand behind your head, twist it and back. That's it. Make sure you're bringing the elbow across to the other side to the knee. We don't just want to pull it, the elbow and the knee down to meet in the middle. The idea of this is you're getting that twist across your body. Now, we met a new friend in week three. Your phase two burpee. We're going back to it, let's go. So it's your burpee with the push up. Jump it back, push it up, in and up. Drop to the knees if you need it. Or again, you can walk it back and drop to the knees. Out, in, and up. How are you finding those phase two burpees this week? Three, two, one, well done. Squat to curtsy squat, 30 seconds. So squat, take one foot behind the other and come down in a curtsy. So your regular squat, as always, roll the bum and the hips back. Now in your curtsy, please make sure you're not turning your whole body back as you curtsy. You wanna keep your shoulders and your hips forward. Shoulders back and breathe. That's it. Come down, reverse bridge and twist. So on your hands and your feet, bring the bum up and extend your arm the opposite way. Up and down. Here is your lower option if you need it. Just bring the bum and the hips up and down. Doesn't really matter which way your wrists are facing, but just keep those shoulders relaxed. Otherwise, full version here, down, up, and extend. Good. One minute of zombies, let's go. Oh no, not these again, Tara. Yes. Back and up. How's that pace today, guys? Remember, your lower option with this is just about speed. Those 30 second rounds feel really quick in comparison to these one minute, don't they? Nearly there. Three, two, one, and onto your plie squats. 30 seconds. So remember, turn the toes out, heels off the floor, and let's go. Take it down and up, as deep as you can, and up. Please keep that back straight. Your knees come out, bum comes down, and stay on those toes. few more. Good. Grab your resistance band. Side pull. So feet underneath. 30 seconds each side. So we are sticking with the same side here. Shoulders are back. You're going to dip to the sides and pull up from the opposite arm. Now make sure that dip 
comes from your side and not from tilting forward. Shoulders back, belly in, breathe. Good, change sides. Let's go. It's quick today, isn't it? Shoulders back, dip it, and up. Now, just while you're finishing this off, I need to warn you, those tuck jumps from last week, we're bringing them back. Only 30 seconds. Let's go. Go. Breathe. Here. Bring those knees up. And remember, you do have options, which is just to, instead of taking the tuck, just jump up and down on the spot and swing the arms. Do try and get those knees up in front though to challenge yourself. Go, 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 go. And grab your resistance band again. We're gonna come into your shoulder press. So, knuckles are facing up towards the ceiling. Extend the arm and bring the elbow in. Now you're probably going to struggle to get your arms completely straight. It is a challenging exercise. So just take it up as far as you can, pull the belly in, shoulders back and breathe. Three, two, one, good, come on down. Spider-Man push-ups, let's go. So, as you push up, you bring the same knee around to the shoulder. So left knee to left shoulder. Here's the option on your toes. Now this may be a bit too much for you. So if so, take it into your knees here. So the knee comes around to the shoulder as you push. Or here's a box position. Instead of taking it to the shoulder, take the leg back at the same time as you press down. Or back to your knees. How are we finding this one? Or toes if you can. It's the challenging one, I know. Now you're about to hook your resistance band around something, so pause it if you need to. Otherwise, 30 seconds of your back rows here. So squeeze it in and out. Elbows back, in and out. Shoulders back, belly in. Make sure those elbows are nice and close to your sides. Three, two, one, excellent, your agility jump. So grab your towel, your divider, or your line, and this time, jump over, jump the feet out into a jump squat. So over and down into the squat. Over, jump into the squat. Jump over, jump into the squat. Option, hop it over and squat. Pick the level that suits you. Otherwise, over, down, jump, over, down. That's it. Good work. Stay with me. How are these new challenges? Three. Two, one, come down. Now, we've got a thing called a kick through here. So bear with me if you've not done it before. You take one foot to the same hand. You lift that hand, swing yourself through, and sit on your butt. So, left hand, a left foot comes to the left hand. You swing yourself under, you raise that left hand, and then let the bum and the right leg come out, and then you alternate. 
what is this you're thinking? It's giving everything a workout. This is a really great exercise. Here's your lower option. If you need it, just tap the same foot up to the hand. Your key here with either version is to get your foot right by your hand. Now this may be one of those exercises that's going to take you a good few weeks to work up towards. That's fine. Practice makes perfect. Come onto your back, reverse curl to wipers, 30 seconds. Raise the bum and the hips off the floor and lower the knees and the feet down to one side, as close as you can get them to the floor without touching them down. So we've done these exercises separately before. So raise that bum off the floor, legs straight, and then drop those knees down. If you're finding this pace a bit too much, do just pause it and go at the pace that suits you. Stay where you are. You sweep leg extensions. I want you to have your feet together. I want you to sweep it down and up, side to side, like you're making the letter U with your feet down and up. This is another one of those exercises where the key is locking that lower back onto the floor. Here's your option. Tap the toes down with the bent knees and raise them up. Take this option if you need to, if the sweep is just too much strain on your back. That's it. Sweep it down and up. Hey team, you're nearly done. You've only got a few exercises left. Three, two, one. Take your feet to the floor, bridge and leg extension. 30 seconds each side. Take one leg straight up. Raise your bum and your hips up in the air by pushing through the other heel. So keep that leg up straight. Bum up as high as you can. Roll that spine down. Three, two, one, change sides. Hey, after this, you've got one exercise left. Bet you're relieved to hear that. Get that bum up as high as you can. Three, two, one, this is it. Hold your shoulders off the floor and bicycle legs. Last 30 seconds, let's go. Nice, big, big cycles here. You've got somewhere very important to go. That's the finish line. Shoulder blades off the floor as high as you can. If that does prove too much, drop your head here. Otherwise, bring it up. This is it, this is it. Three, two, one, and you're done. Stay where you are. Well done. Hug your knees in. Breathe. Knees to one side. This is just the best stretch, this one, isn't it? Arms the other. So, how are we? How did we find that? I bet you found that challenging. I hope you did. It's week four. Other side. Breathe. Now, if you found that was really, really difficult, don't worry, because in this fourth week, we really look at addressing those kind of exercises, that quick 
succession of circuits, that quickening of the pace. Take one leg straight up, flex the heel. To prepare you for weeks five and six, where we start to put everything together that we've run through. Foot over the other knee, pull the other thigh in. Change, take the other leg straight up, flex the foot. Foot over the other knee, pull it in. Excellent. Soles of the feet together, drop the knees out, stretch out the hips. And come on up. Come onto those knees, take one foot forward, stretch it through, breathe. Also start to assess how quickly you feel okay after your workouts, how, how quickly your body recovers from the workouts. Change legs, that is also a sign of your fitness improving. Come on up. Open up that chest. And push it forward. Breathe. Take one arm across, pull it in. I do hope you feel you've achieved something today. Pull it down, stretch the tricep. Whilst you're there, give yourself a pat on the back. I want you to actually pat yourself on the back. You deserve it. Other side, pull it across. Take it over. Stretch it to one side. This is it, team. That was some great work today. Give it a twist side to side. It is that moment, that moment when you can say, I'm done. Up on your toes, deep breath in and out. Well done, guys. I will see you next time.